everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly E. A very happy Friday out there to everybody watching. Today, while we're all being socially distanced from each other, I thought I would get on here and share my bucket list of what I'm doing during this time out, I guess. Um, so if you're curious how I'm handling my time out, or if you just want to hear some maybe options for yourself to keep busy or whatnot, you guys stay tuned. Let's uh, let let's just chat. <laughs> I uh, was kind of inspired by this because I was just kind of scrolling on Twitter and people were like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle myself. And I was thinking, I was like, this is like the greatest thing ever. I don't have to leave the house. <laughs> this is me. This is, um, I like to stay home. I like family time. I have a mom of four. My husband's working from home. My kids are out of school. So I'm homeschooling them. Um, my school did send home like packets of paperwork um, and whatnot. So we're doing that, but I'm also doing a lot for me and my mental health. I think one thing that really um, uh, scares me the most is my mental health uh, and the status of at least the people I live with. I worry about everybody because I'm a worrier, but I almost like reading some tweets and I'm like, well, you don't know what to do. I'm like, wow, well, there's lots of, I do at home, but... I do want to start off by saying, if you are seeing this, I want to say thank you so much for just taking the time, clicking on my video, hanging out with me for a couple minutes. That's probably not going to be a very long video, um, because I'm going to generalize just everything. I'm a little nervous talking about this. See, chatting. Anyways, um, yeah. The first, the first thing I want to say is what I try to do is keep the positive um, and keep the negative out of my house. Um, <laughs> I do that every day as I don't like negative thoughts. I don't like negative words. I don't like negativity. Like I ward off all things. Um, and that's probably why I'm pretty okay staying home. <laughs> There's a lot of negativity out there and I don't like, I don't, I do not invite it in. I actually shut the door on it. So definitely if anything, keep positive. If just keep positive thoughts. You know, we are at least safe and we are handling this as a society. And it's actually kind of cool to see like globally, we're coming together and saying, you know what, we, we need to you know, social distance ourselves um, for a hot minute just to control this, which is really nice. Um, but what I do every day, I do practice. We dance often. We laugh every day. Um, love often, smile, because those little tiny things, they will help. Even if you have to, if you live alone, call a friend, call a family member, say the cheesiest joke ever. Like, um, <laughs> what starts with tea, ends in tea, and fi is filled with tea. Any idea? Teapot. <laughs> I've got four kids, okay? We, I've heard all of them. But anyways, say a funny joke, even if it's like cheesy, like like I just said, but keep positive and laughing, smiling, dancing. You kind of can't do that being angry and definitely love more, love more. Don't, don't H anything. H A T E. I don't like to say it. Like saying it gives me an icky feeling in my stomach. I don't like saying the word, but anyways, love often. It helps. So the other thing that I have been doing is I'm decluttering my entire house. <laughs> I'm home. I can do it, right? Everybody's home with me. We can do it together. I've made it a family fun thing to do. Um, we went through like all the cake pans that we don't use anymore. And I set those to the side. Old Tupperware. I mean, not just, I'm not talking just beauty. I mean, declutter. Declutter your life, your house, your surroundings. It's freeing. It, it is. And it, it's a positive thing. So reorganize or declutter, I guess, because I did reorganize like the Tupperware. Like, after I pulled some others that out, I was like, wow, I really don't like this. And I was like, ooh, there's space. And I just like putting things back. I reorganized. But anyway, <laughs> I really like to clean, reorganize and whatnot. But anything, anyways, something else that you should do as far as decluttering and reorganize is re reorganize your thoughts. Definitely. Um, try not to dwell on the negative and all of the ba very bad and scary and try to think of even if it's one small little tiny positive thing think about that focus on that don't try not to focus on that and the negativity so definitely declutter and reorganize your thoughts as well um also 
at the beginning of the year. I think it's like social norm to do New Year's resolutions. Well, it's mid-March. Uh, actually, yeah, well, I don't still, it's like the 18th. So we'll say it's, it's mid-March still. So maybe, maybe you have slipped, um, away from what you wanted to do, you know, goals, definitely personal goals that you can do in the house or just around your house, um, exercise. You can exercise outside. You can exercise wherever. I exercise in front of the bay window when there's sunshine. It's cold outside. <laughs> Again, I live in Michigan. So, but refocus, um, add to, or maybe even write down and change. Maybe it was like my personal like goal for one of the New Year's resolutions or whichever for the start was to add in yoga. Well, I recently have really gotten used to the daily 20 minutes, 30 minutes of yoga. So I've added yin yoga after my normal like session of yoga. So I'm up to 45 to an hour of yoga every day and I, I love it. So that's not something that I've done at this bucket list, but it is something that you could do. Um, I am looking at January, what I set for the goals and how I could rearrange and add to anyways, but restart or reorganize or add to change your New Year's resolutions. Something you can do around the house. Something else I am absolutely doing is maximizing my self-care. I am full on tanning because I want sunshine. I want summer. I want warm weather and just... So I started full on self tanning. I've been, I painted my toes. Um, I'm going to put some press on nails that I have around the house. I'm not going out and I'm not buying anything. These are just things I have around the house. I'm going to put some press on nails on them again. I'm just some self care. I've been masking often. Um, I actually did a hair mask and oh, it was so good. And then it reminded me, wow, I, I, I'm sad. I don't take more time to self care like this. I don't have like a soaking bathtub. If you have a soaking bathtub, so open your bathtub, take some, take a time out and just breathe and love yourself because that kind of goes back to the first point. More love, just love more. And definitely don't, don't leave yourself out of the love more. Something else I do is journal. <laughs> I journal every day. I have decided, um, I need to get back to it because I journaled every day for like 60 days or something. And then this crazy hit and my anxiety has me like so scared to leave the house because I, I can't handle leaving the house right now. So my journaling, I kind of keep forgetting about it. So I mean, I personally, I want to get back to journaling, um, or just start journaling. My kids, they see me writing in my journal and my youngest was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just writing about my day and what I did and, and whatnot. And it, so she grabbed one of her notebooks. Um, I keep like lined notebook paper around the house, like constantly, but she started writing about her day and it's just, I, that's kind of fun to look back and it would be really interesting to see when we get out of this, you know, my thoughts and feelings on how everything was and what's going on and everything like that. I have journals that from years ago and I just, I don't know. I love journaling. I'm a paper person. <laughs> also love planners <laughs> with the homeschooling, everything going on right now. I, I had a homeschooling planner <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Something else, if you are able to, is enjoy nature. If you have a porch, sit on the porch for a little bit. Get some vitamin D. Just breathe. Like, when you're outside, don't don't take your phone outside with you. Just go outside by yourself. Look, if you have, like, tons and tons of neighbors, look at the sky. Look at, look at the clouds or look at grass or flowers. I don't know. Just, I've got woods in my backyard, so I kind of... I mean, I don't, I don't go outside that long, but we do go outside for like, um, a recess and I do go outside and I sit on the porch and I look around and I have woods and the birds are chirping and I hear the frogs starting up. <laughs> um, and I just, I enjoy the nature that is surrounding me. So that's calming. It is something positive to focus on and it does kind of it's, it's meditative, I guess. And if you do meditate, I mean, meditate outside. Absolutely. If you have a park close by, that's not super crowded, go to the park, go for a hike or something like that. I mean, definitely don't shut yourself, shut the door and shut yourself out. I mean, even if you, I guess if you stand at the window and you look outside, don't totally shut yourself off from the rest of the world because it is a very beautiful place and a very scary time. If there's still beauty out there, and that beauty does bring in some positivity and some love 
and some peace. <laughs> they had we all day. I'm gonna get emotional. I don't know why. But something else I've actually recently done is connect with a friend or a group of friends and start a book club. Even if it's just you and one other person reading kind of the same book or even the same book. But read. I'm, I I mean, I'm, I'm a reader anyways, but I did have a friend reach out and she's like, what are you reading right now? And I like sent her a list and she goes, oh, I'm picking that book up. And then we're reading it and having chats and conversations. And that way, because as a human, you don't want to totally shut yourself off from social like interactions completely because I mean we're human we need that social connection and outside of my house <laughs> I live with lots of people but definitely reach out to your friend um or family member that you know that likes to read and read a book or just have a intellectual conversation about the book or subject matter something very positive keep it positive that's all just keep it positive keep it happy and I think that is the best way that we are all going to get through this. It is very frightful, very scary out there. Um, I try not to read too much news. Uh, <laughs> I can't control my anxiety. I can't leave the house right now. <laughs> um, and it's becoming a problem. But I really do think if more people do refocus the uh, scary and negative and like limit it to an hour of time, half an hour. Um, I'm like at a, like a 10 minute max Twitter time. Um, focus on the hobby, focus on the, the positivity and the love. Uh, change the way we're viewing this. I mean, be informed. I'm not saying don't be informed, but be informed. But you guys will get through this. We And we'll get through it together if we're happy and we embrace the love. So I hope everybody is doing their best. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and share your bucket list ideas down in the comment section. Um, I would love it if you share this video just so that we can create a bigger, positive, more happy community. Definitely leave happy, positive comments. Just leave some kind of happy, positive something in the comments, even if it's just an emoji. Let me know. And I hope to see everybody next week. Bye.